Hi, I'm Clara. It's the last day of the February. Hoping all viewers getting better and better. Today we'll continue the topic of problem and solutions of fab laser carting. That is, the flying cat is abnormal. Have you ever encountered such issue? Please leave it in the comment below. We can learn together. You can click the link below in the description to have a trip to our store. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you. If our fab laser carting machine can operate normally, but when we use the flying carting, any of the following situations will occur. We need to stop the operation, check, and adjust the machine. First. Laser beam leakage occurs during idling. We have an image here to demonstrate the leakage. Usually, there are similar marking lines appearing on the idling track. Second, during the flying cutting, there is a situation of non-stop laser or no laser. As shown in the figure, non-stop laser means that cutting occurs when the cutting head is moving in space. No laser means that there is no cutting command at the place where it should be cut. Let's tell the first condition. When there is a laser leakage, we need to get into the card monitor. Here, if we find that there is a PWM configured, we need to enable the PWM positive and PWM negative, which is to click the little gray circles to green, and at the same time. Ensuring the PWM here is in gray, which is disabled. Attention here! Right now, there may be slight laser leakage. Please make sure no hand under the cutting head, avoiding causing any hurt to human body. Next, we need to find a multimeter to measure the voltage at PWM positive and PWM negative ports on the control board. According to the measured values, we need to make the next choice. If the voltage measured is zero, which means that the laser can emit laser even when it doesn't receive a PWM modulation signal, we need to contact the supplier. If the voltage measured is not zero, we need to remove the wires at PWM positive and PWM negative pulse and measure the voltage at the pulse again. According to the measured values, we need to make the next choice. If the voltage value is zero, we can judge the laser leakage caused by laser interference. We need to check whether the grounding of the laser is within specification, or to replace the modulation signal wire with a better shielding. Or we can also try connecting a 1,000 ohm resistor in parallel between PWM positive. And PWM negative. If the voltage measured is not zero, we need to contact the supplier. Let's turn to the second condition, which is a non-stop laser or no laser. The same, we also need to get into the card monitor. Click clear here. We need to clear the encoder values and then send 10,000 pulses to X and Y axis separately. And at the same time, observing the data shown here, the encoder 1, 2, 3, according to the values, we need to make the next choice. If the encoders 1, 2, and 3 are all 10,000, which means the encoder feedback is normal, we need to check the rigidity sighting of the cell motors, and the rigidity can be probably enhanced. If the encoder 1, 2, or 3 is minus 10,000, which means the direction of the encoder is opposite, we need to get into the machine configure tool to change the direction. If the problem is still there after the direction correction, we need to contact the supplier. If the encoder 1, 2, or 3 is 0, we need to check whether the 15-core encoder feedback signal wire is welded. 
check whether the 62 core wear has abnormal pins or the motion control card needs to be replaced. If the encoder 1, 2, or 3 shows other values, we need to repeat the step. Clear the encoder value and then send 10,000 pulses to X and Y axis and check whether the values are the same as the first time. If it's the same, we can tell the feedback parameters of the encoders are set abnormal. If the second values are not the same as the first time, we need to check whether the 15 core encoder feedback signal wear is welded, check whether the 62 core wear has abnormal pins, or the motion control card needs to be replaced. Do you think today's video is helping? Thanks for watching. I will be appreciated if you can click the share button below and let me help more friends who are in searching free and practical knowledges of FabLaser Carting Machines. Thank you for your support. It's a great motive to allow me to do more for you. Please don't forget to subscribe me if you are first time here and if you still have the time, stick around and check another video. See you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Bye! The next step is to download the free PPS file in the description below. You can get a collection of my videos, which is easy to locate the video you want.